following the big moves, uh, a lot of the elements could be referred to many of the streets, but we, we chose, we're choosing York Street to uh, take a deeper dive for various reasons. It's, it's central, it's, it's wide, uh, it has the parking garage and has a lot of on-street parking. So Jill, maybe you can give us a, a sense of how the, the big moves fit into uh, to what's presented to us here for York Street. This image shows um, how the new Civic Square and the new destination building could be programmed in the future. And so we had our consultant teams scale out various events and see whether they would fit in, in these new spaces that we're creating. And they do, and many of them do. Yeah, so this is a cross section of the future York Street looking west towards uh, the York Steps. You can see that we are still proposing that cars are accommodated on York Street. The traffic will be bi-directional and there will be on-street parking, flanking, either one of those vehicle lanes. Even with that uh, car circulation still being maintained, you can see that we have 20 meters of space, new space for pedestrians. And that enables rows of up to four trees to create a green canopy overhead. And then um, the cross sections show how patios may pop up um, next to building facades on either side of York Street. However, those pedestrian clearways are still maintained. And so we don't have this uh, privatization of public space where it just creeps into the space and then suddenly everyone is forced to step off the curb if they want to pass someone shoulder to shoulder. So it really, the space does enable a lot to happen in the right of way. This is our grand boulevard. And with the future uh, being established with this plan, you will see a strong line of high arching trees from Sussex to King Edward um, with a very kind of wide space for people to walk in and through and linger and gather. And it, it's a, it'll be a striking street in the future. It'll have um, just very high quality elements of seating and lighting and you know, elements that are required for programming like power and water. And so again, um, this will be a, a grand boulevard in the future and we won't have any surface parking lots uh, in, in the future. It'll, it'll, it'll be a, a, a transformational element. So we could, we, could, we could probably do a video blog for each section, for each node, for each gateway, for each street. Um, we, want you, we want to excite you in looking into the plan and seeing the thoughtful analysis that was done. For, for those who've done so and, and are interested in what's next, maybe you could uh, give us a sense. I know we're coming in front of council with this plan for approval uh, in the fall. Uh, mm -hmm. What more, uh, what more should residents um, know, know in terms of next steps? Yeah, um, right now is the public's last opportunity to comment on the plan material. And so I would encourage people, like you said, to uh, read through the document uh, because this is the last opportunity for public feedback to make, uh, you know, to, to sort of make those refinements to the plan. Um, the comment deadline is June 26, 2020. And after that date, the comment period will have closed and the project team will make the final round of refinements to the, to the document. And this is all in preparation to, to, to create the final PyWord Market Public Realm Plan and the final plan will be presented to FedCo and then subsequently to city council for their endorsement.